we're tracking data from December of 2010 well into 2013, tracking sales. And as I zoom back a little bit here, notice we've got a chart to the right. And as I click on the chart, recognize that the chart is getting data from columns A and B and also columns C and D, which are currently empty. And what we want to do is to calculate a linear trend line in column C using an array function called trend. And then a function in column D called growth, which will display an exponentially calculated line. And you may or may not be familiar with those terms if you have used the trend line capability. If you are familiar with regression analysis, you probably also are familiar with these terms. So we're about to put in, in column C, an array formula called trend. And like with the frequency function that you might have seen in a previous movie, we highlight the cells ahead of time, all these entries in column C. And let me zoom in so we can see this clearly. We type equal trend, left parenthesis, and then simply highlight the sales entries right here, all the way downward. This is an array function. I'll press Control, Shift, Enter. And not only have we made the entries here, but as I zoom back, the chart is now reflective of the data that went into column C, a linear regression line. Similarly, in column D, we'll do the same kind of thing. Highlight all these cells ahead of time, and this time equal growth, left parenthesis. And again, we'll be highlighting the sales data from column B. Down to there, Control, Shift, Enter. And so in the example we're seeing here, we're using the trend function in column C, the growth function in column D, both of them based on the data in column B to introduce these trend lines into the worksheet with actual values. If you're familiar with the concept of using trend lines using Excel charts, you know that you can add the lines, but you don't get the values behind them. And sometimes that's necessary. And so the trend and growth functions actually produce values that are then depicted in a chart if you've chosen to use the chart. So the chart isn't really necessary here, although it does bring out the data nicely, and it reinforces the value of these two functions